Hey guys, the new NVIDIA cards are finally here and we're really excited to be unboxing this ASUS RTX 3080 Tough Gaming. This is the cheaper of the two ASUS cards at this level and likely the one that will sell more off. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as we have a lot of content coming your way. Let's check out what's inside the box. Here we'll find the card itself, speed setup manual, tough certificate, and a little collection card. The front of the card displays a very robust and industrial look with an all aluminum shroud and minimalistic accents. In this case, I would even dare to say that the back is more attention grabbing. The slick looking GPU bracket being the focal point of it all. Its functional purpose is to provide a more even mounting pressure between the GPU die and the heat spreader. This generation of tough gaming GPUs has an enhanced surface smoothness of the heat spreader, providing a better contact with the die and therefore improving the thermal transfers. This card features a few overclock options. First is gaming mode with boost clocks reaching just short of 1800 and the second is overclock mode with boost hitting just over 1800. I wonder how much further we can push this later on. We'll surely be testing this in our other videos, so make sure to check them out. Like many ASUS cards, it has a dual BIOS switch where you can choose either performance at the expense of noise levels or drop down the performance and make it much more quiet. Ultimately, this allows you to tweak the fan profiles without any need of the software. There's also a vent at the far end of the board. It is designed to allow hot air to come from the front of the card and be directed to the chassis exhaust. Talking about cooling, this card features a three fan design with a middle fan spinning the opposite way. According to ASUS research, this reverse direction central fan has been optimized to reduce turbulence. They have also included a fan stop mode which kicks in and silences the card when the GPU temperatures are below 55 degrees. As a content creator, this is very much appreciated. Space-wise, this card will take up 2.7 slots, with most of the footprint being stacked with fins for better heat dissipation. The IO bracket is made out of stainless steel for improved durability and longevity. It has two HDMI 2.1 ports, three Display 1.4 ports, and it can support up to four displays connected simultaneously. On the side, there are two 8-pin power connections and, of course, RGB Tough Gaming logo that you can control using the Armory Crate software and sync them up with the rest of your components. When it comes to specs, this card definitely has a punch. With 8,704 CUDA cores, 10GB of GDDR6X memory running at 19 gigabit speeds on a 320-bit bus. NVIDIA 3000 series is now running over PCIe Gen 4 and other features include DLSS, improved ray tracing, HDCP 2.3 and up to 8K display resolution. There have been a lot of bold claims about the performance of these cards and we'll surely provide you with the answers. Make sure to watch our full review video. If you want to check out any of the items we've talked about today, we'll leave the links in the description below. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.